Yes, hi, this is Juan Lince, Jam Lince Computers. Today I'm going to show you how to print on a regular printer and on a thermal printer from your computer to get a PayPal here receipts. If usually your clients are okay with um, either text the receipt or email the receipt, uh, but a customer may want to have a printout then uh, if you don't ha if you do not have the the printer uh, uh, the Bluetooth one that is like around two hundred and fifty dollars you could always just go to the computer and print out the receipt for them uh, you have to play a little bit with the settings uh, to make it work especially if you are going to use a thermal printer if you are going to use your regular printer then uh, there's not much to do you just go ahead and log in into your paypal account just uh, go to the receipt that you want to print Then scroll down, find a view invoice receive. So from here, then uh, you can go ahead and print the receive as you normally do on your regular printer. Uh, for my case, I'm going to, to uh, show you a few tips. Uh, to make it work with my thermal printer like if I do file and print uh, right now it's showing the the printout like this because I've been playing with the settings but like if you do your regular printer you do ok <coughs> and you do close then the next time that you do file print it will give you the preview as it normally will look as you can see it says page one of two probably uh, the second page won't display any important information so probably when I click print I will do pages one to one that way I won't be wasting extra paper uh, the printout that I get because this is a black and white printer is these two pages and yeah you see the second page is not really important so if you wanna do uh, if you wanna use your thermal printer then you go ahead and select your printer but before doing that I'm going to cancel this I'm using Firefox I'm going to do page setup and I'm going to set up my margins to zero so go ahead and do that if you want you can play with this to see uh, which settings work the best so I go print I select my printer my thermal one I go to properties and here on advance is very important right now it says letter you don't want that you want to select either uh, 32 by receive uh, if you do that one uh, then probably the first time that you print you'll get something like this but you'll get a lot uh, of white uh, paper wasted uh, but the second time that you do it uh, it might correct that automatically the reason why is because you are changing the settings so like yeah I did I did uh, first uh, like that then I got these results the second time I play a little bit with my settings uh, I selected the 72 by 200 and I did it again and, and the third time for some reason it just gave me that little paper so you'll need to play with it 
it is important I'm going to do by by receive I'm going to, uh, right now I'm going to, to see if I get that extra wasted paper okay I click OK here and I click on OK there and there's the printout okay it's it, it looks like it did the job so there you go there you go you can give that to your customer I hope this helps uh, remember to play with the settings until you get the the result that you want another setting that I noticed here uh, is again on page setup you could do shrink to fit a page width uh, also let me just cancel this let me close this and let's try to do that printout again and like you see now the preview will uh, show you uh, what's supposed to be print so yeah for some reason it gives me a lot of this blank spot one time it printed all of all of this white but um, it seems like right now if we just click print let's see if it gives me the, the white wasted paper or not no nope. yeah did it okay again so that's good i hope this helps thank you